Nexus level 7 upgrade. Today I'm going to be installing a custom LED kit I made in my electronics class. This one has resistors inside of it and it also connects to the receiver therefore I do not need another battery inside of the body. Yes, that's right, I'm mounting it inside of the body. I'm going to be drilling three holes on each side, front and back. It's going to have brake lights, signal lights, and headlights. It's going to be awesome. Let's get it installed. Before we get started, I want to talk about how I made this LED kit. There's resistors inside of it, and there's also three different colored LEDs. Four of them are red, four of them are clear white, and the other four are like signal lights, which are orange. The signal lights do not work, they are just for appearance, they are always on but it still adds a really cool effect to it. I think, I think it'll look amazing in the end. But anyway, past these LEDs, you can see I have them wired up in parallel. Past the resistors, it turns into a series circuit because there's no um, resistors in it and it won't affect the voltage going on. Um, so for the red and orange LEDs, I have 500 ohm resistors inside of that. That's going to step down the voltage just enough for me to run those LEDs safely. And for the white ones, I have 1K resistors. That also steps it down just enough for what I need. So like I said, past the LEDs, it all turns into a series circuit, and they lead to these connectors. And these connectors are going to be connected to another receiver connector that leads into the receiver box. So whenever I take on and off the body, I just plug this in, and then I can take it off whenever I need to. It's a good setup. I like how it turned out to be, and now we're going to get it installed. These LEDs are going to be mounted to the front and the rear of the vehicle, but in order to mount them, I'm going to need some sort of canister to hold them in place. So I got these tiny little canisters. Well, actually not tiny. I meant to say that they're very cheap. Uh, 50 in one pack for 80 cents on eBay. They don't work the best, but hey, it's what I have right now. I'm going to be drilling holes where I want the LEDs to be located, slipping those canisters from the other side, and then popping the LEDs. With all the holes drilled and canisters in place, we can now insert the LEDs. And now all the LEDs are snapped into place. To help out, I used my 2mm screwdriver on the back, held the canister, and then pushed it in, and it worked out pretty well. And the wires are too short, which is awesome, and this one is actually a little bit tight, so I don't need to... Well, I guess I could tape it right there, but anyway. Still looks really good. Really clean, which I like. Now for the next step, we need a connection to the receiver box. So over here I have two wires, positive and negative. Um, one of the sides has a male end of the connector that plugs into the other end of the uh, LED kit. And then this part right here plugs into the receiver box. The receiver box is held in with four screws. Two for the wire tie down and two for the box. Alright, now we have the receiver. And the way I like to refer to which side to plug it in, you know, well one of the ways is that the open part of the prong faces up on the receiver. But the better way for all um, receivers is the black wire faces out, or the darker wire, and then the signal wire, or the lighter wire, faces inwards. And then the middle one is just the positive. So the way I plug this in is I take my black wire. You can plug it into any of the parts as long as it's not the telemetry or the ESC. Um, Servo will work just fine because you're not plugging into a signal. And then I just want this prong facing up and I plug it in to the right. Now for the positive wire, I'm just going to do the same thing except it's right beside it. The signal wire goes to the far left and the positive goes to the center. With all the wires plugged in and tidied up, it's time to test it out. Plug in any battery. Then while I put on the body, I just attach these connectors.
put the body on and turn the vehicle on. Check it out. Everything turns on. Simply awesome. Now we're going to do a little bit more modification so everything is perfect. The first thing I will do is tape down this part of the wire so that nothing else rips out. And it will also attach the connectors together with some super glue. To help out, I also put on some shrink tubing. Now, I can call this upgrade done.